right, so we just got our 2-liter Jeep JL air intake in, and we're currently installing it on the vehicle now. So let's go take a look at it and speak with Ye, the engineer who designed the project. How's it looking, Ye? It's looking great. We just had a production sample come in, so I'm doing a test fit. So far, everything looks great. This is our um, airbox lid. This is our fully CNC maturing manifold. It's just a prototype right now. The final piece is going to be anodized black. Uh, what the Venturi system does is to create a vacuum, and that vacuum is going to draw the fuel vapor into the intake tube. How did you get? Uh, how did you come to the design from this, from the stock one? Uh, we would take apart the stock component, and we would uh, look at it, evaluate where is the potential to improve on it. And then we would use our Faro 3D scanner to scan the engine bay. And then you use a 3D scan to create a design. 3D design, you 3D print it. There are three 3Ds in this one sentence. 3D scan, 3D design, and 3D printing. The 3D printed part, we coat it with uh, epoxy to create a seal. And we use a 3D printed part for flow bench testing and for dyno testing. First thing we noticed on the flow bench is that this prototype showed a great flow gain. We got a 39% more flow over the stock intake system that encouraged us to proceed with dyno testing. We spend most time on the dyno to uh, investigate the resonator feature. What we incorporate into our intake tube is a Humpus style resonator. that's going to help um, increase the uh, cylinder fuel. So um, we printed out several different resonators of different volume, neck lens, diameter, and we finally uh, arrived into this final design that uh, fit the engine bay spacing and also give us uh, the best performance. After dyno testing, we would install the final production sample part and we would go out on the road to do uh, extended road testing. What we look for during road testing is long-term fuel trim, short-term fuel trim, uh, intake air temp to make sure everything is performing as it should and that we do not have a check engine light. 